Okay, so if we're all if we're all ready, I'll get rolling here. Um, Coach, can you just kind of give your your thoughts on the game today? Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> it was an okay first half um, offensively. You know, I thought we were a little slow sluggish in the first quarter just because we were coming off of such a huge layoff. Um, and then going into the second half, you want to, you hope as a coach that they come out with a lot of energy and it felt like we started okay. And then a couple minutes into the third, when they started to make a little bit of a run was when it just seemed to fall apart for us. And we haven't figured out how to handle pressure, which we didn't have that issue last year. So I think it's just getting everybody some more minutes and more experience. I mean, fish hasn't played in five weeks, so she was a little rusty when it came to pressure. Um, but once we get that, that together, um, and able to, to execute a little bit better against the zone, obviously we struggled there. Um, I think we took 41 shot attempts, which is not enough to win games. Um, and a lot of that is, is turning it over 19 times. So I think the turnovers and taking more shots, getting more shots, better shots in transition. Um, and then just being able to find different people to go to when, our leading scores weren't like, I think fish had 10 in the first half. It didn't score after that. Jade had 10 and only scored three. We got to find other ways for other people to score. And we had some good shots. Some of the other shots were good shots. And then some were forced at the end of the shot clock. So uh, we have some ways to go, but um, you know, it's nice to be able to pull out a close game, really close game. Cause we've, and I think our game at Navy, our second game was kind of close, but we had to come from behind and it take a lot of energy, but it was nice to win a close game where you were ahead, lost the lead. And then, you know, Taylor hitting those two free throws were obviously huge for us. All right, Spencer, I'll open it up to you. Sure. Uh, just starting off here, I'm curious kind of what your thought process was down the stretch with all those possession changes and then obviously those two shots at the line at the end. <laughs> when they called that double dribble on fish that was not a double dribble. And then I'm trying to tell them that she walked it half court and he finally called it. But it was that was really frustrating. Honestly, um, you don't want the officials to step in and, and, and change the course of a game. It felt that way a little bit, but I'm not going to sit there and blame them. I mean, it was this was all on us. Um, you know, I thought they did a good job of taking Jade away at the end um, and forced somebody else to win it for us. And it was nice to see that Taylor could step up and do that for us as a junior. You want that from your upperclassmen, and she was able to seal it. And I mean, you obviously brought up the press and I think that that's kind of the one of the main takeaways from this game. Um, they obviously throw a bit of a different press than I think some other teams you might face. Um, I, I'm curious what adjustments, if any, maybe not for tomorrow, but just looking ahead for the rest of the season, what adjustments you might make. Well, depending on what type of press it is, I mean, there's is a run and jump. So we had the three player take the ball out of bounds, which then we changed to the two player because I thought India did a better job than Jade taking the ball out. Um, so having somebody to pass back to that's also a guard because we used to put a post player there. So that's one of the adjustments we made. And then we just adjusted our press breaker. We just had the five and the one there screening for each other and opening up the floor. So the point guard had more, more uh, room to operate when she had the ball. And once we did that, it's, it seemed relatively easy to break pressure. But Loyola is so aggressive. It's like, I feel like they have the mentality of, you know, you can't call every foul. And so they, they, they kind of grab at you and, and hit you. And sometimes officials don't see it and they get away with some things that they shouldn't get away with. But, you know, for the most part, you know, we did break pressure when we needed to, it was just not getting enough shots. And in a physical game like that, how important is it for you to have a player like Taylor out on the court? And then like, what kind of, I mean, cause it seems like her confidence has really grown this year on the court. Um, just the kind of impact she's had in this game and then her growth this season. T Taylor, you said, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You cut off there for a sec. Um, huge. I mean, so Taylor only averaged like 15 minutes last year. So she plays, but she's not playing crucial minutes all the time. And so for her to step up and, you know, do play the defense the way we wanted her to play. Um, and, you know, she didn't make a ton of, ton of the shots that she took, but she's willing to take shots and you have to, to take pressure off Jade somehow and you need other people to have the confidence to do so so when she starts making some of the shots that she took on a more consistent basis with the experience that she's getting I feel like it's going to be it's going to help the team grow in general so for that I think is huge 
Um, but I just love her growth on the defensive end. To me, that's the biggest area I see. And no, she's not perfect, but no one is. And she's growing and learning and figuring out how to take away tendencies and, and when to help and when not to. And so that's big. I think one of the other things I would say too is our offensive rebounding wasn't there today. And we've been harping on that over and over all season. Then we had this break and it's like, we forgot about it. So that's something I'm going to be talking to them tomorrow for that game is get on the boards because we just ran back. We didn't even try. So I think that needs to get better. Right. And then kind of sticking on the same subject of the front court, it seems like you kind of spread around the minutes pretty evenly today. I I'm curious what went into that decision making process. The fact that we have a noon game tomorrow, <laughs> we need some rest. So I wanted to get those those four in and, and get in a rotation because post players have to expend a lot of energy. They're bigger, uh, bigger bodies. They have to move around. So I'm like, I need to get them some breaks. I tried to get Jade out a couple times. I tried to get Indy out a couple times. And Fish obviously played probably more minutes than she should have. Um, but yeah, I just know that what we have tomorrow and you want to put your best foot forward on national television. Right. So I'm hoping that we don't look like we did today, <laughs> but it was good that we had this home game. I really felt like we needed the home game off the quarantine to, to be in our comfort zone a little bit and feel good playing here. And for, for India, honestly, this is senior day. You always want to send out your senior with a win and we were able to do that. So I was happy for her. And then just kind of wrapping up here, um, I know that, again, you have this big game tomorrow, you, you want to just focus on that, but I believe this win puts you at the top of the South Division. Um, does your mind at all go to the playoff picture after a game like this, or are you just focused on like one game at a time? Well, I think where my mind goes is, is not necessarily the playoffs, but it's like, okay, like you're saying, I don't know that we're, we're not really ahead of Navy, although I don't know what they're, I think they're three and one as well. So now we're four and one. So because they haven't played, we're ahead of them, but that's the only reason why. So my, my thought really goes to how do we win the pod? What do we have to do? Well, we have to split with Loyola. We have, we have to beat Navy. If we don't beat Navy, we won't win the pod. So that's kind of where my mind goes and not necessarily to what, what happens in the playoffs, what seed and all. I'm not thinking about that right now. It's just, how do we, how do we win this pod? And um, if we can pull off tomorrow, I'll be thrilled. I'll be thrilled with that win. And then obviously Wednesday becomes like, like a playoff game, to be quite honest, is what it ends up being. Thanks, Coach. Yep. All right. Thank you guys both. Thanks, Spencer. Appreciate it. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye, guys.